In this video, I will tell you how Solidity made me a millionaire. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Eat the Blocks, I help you to become a blockchain developer. It's so crazy. Learning Solidity only took me a few months and it completely changed my career. I wasn't much more skilled after learning Solidity. I was the same guy, but just because I could put this skill on my CV, I started to receive a lot of interest from recruiters. And that's how I got my first six-figure remote job for a guy like me who was completely stuck in my career as, as a web developer. It was a game changer. So my career had reached a plateau as a JavaScript developer and Solidity really unlocked me. And in a few years, I made my first million and it was all thanks to Solidity. But what is so special about this programming language? Well, Solidity is a very special programming language because it's used in crypto by blockchain developers and it's used in small programs that we call smart contracts. And these smart contracts run on the blockchain and they have very different properties compared to traditional programs like a web application. And I'm not going to go too deep in the details, but all you have to know is that these smart contracts are key components of blockchain applications. Whenever you hear about some new blockchain app that is getting very popular, there is a smart contract at the core of it. For example, Right now, there is Polymarket, the famous blockchain app that predicted the election of Donald Trump, and it's based on a smart contract. When users make a bet on Polymarket, this bet goes into a smart contract. Okay, but what about Solidity? Well, Solidity is the programming language used for these smart contracts. So. When a company wants to make a blockchain app, they will need a smart contract, which means that they will need a Solidity developer. And there aren't that many qualified Solidity developers, so that's why Solidity is so special. And next, I'm going to tell you how I leveraged my Solidity skills to become a millionaire. So I didn't start my career as a Solidity developer. I started in a completely different field. So I was in finance, I was working a corporate job, I was not technical at all. And one day I met this cool developer and he was basically telling me how I was making $10,000 per month, how I was working remotely, I was able to live in different countries and it really inspired me and I basically decided to switch from finance to software development, all thanks to this guy. And luckily, so at that time, I was living with a couple of roommates and one of my roommates heard that I wanted to become a software dev. And so he gave me my first gig. So I made a website for this customer. Um, and so that was a terrible project. It was just like $500, like, like a terrible pay. But I was happy because... This is how I got my, my foot in the door. And after that, I got more customers by organizing tech meetups. It was a great way to meet new people. And I was at that time, so I wasn't doing blockchain. I was doing a WordPress website and, and PHP. So very simple tech, which is great for learning, great for beginner. After one or two years of doing this, I received an advice from one of my developer friends who told me to remove PHP from my CV and instead focus on JavaScript and React because this is what, uh, it's what is hot right now. So I switched to JavaScript and React and uh, started to level up a little bit. And now I was, instead of website, instead of simple website, I was making more complex web applications for startups. After a while of doing that, I wanted to go to the next level. I wanted to level up and get a six-figure remote job, something a little bit more stable. 
So I applied to many uh, a job uh, advertisement, but it was hard because I was too junior. I didn't have a lot of experience. And most of the time, really, I didn't get any answer. So it was really frustrating. And that is when I stumbled upon blockchain and Solidity. And I fell in love with the whole concept of blockchain and crypto. And so I fell into the rabbit hole. I started to study everything. And in just three months, I learned Solidity. And I started to share my journey on social media, also on this YouTube channel in the blogs, but also on LinkedIn. And I got bombarded by recruiters. That was insane. So just as soon as I put the keyword solidity on my LinkedIn profile, my profile received a ton of visits. So at some point I was getting 2000 visits a week. And that's so crazy because I didn't change that much. I only added Solidity as a skill on LinkedIn and I maybe mentioned a few times a few Solidity projects that I was working on but that's it and that's how I got my first six-figure blockchain job and after a while I quit this job to go back to freelancing and thanks to my social media activity I was getting a lot of incoming requests and I didn't need to apply to anything I, it was all 100% passive so I was able to increase my rate and my income keep climbing. And I also added a new revenue stream by selling Solidity trainings. And basically in three years, I became a millionaire. And when I look back, that's really crazy because I remember this poor WordPress PHP developer that was stuck with shitty customer and shitty rate. If you had told me at that time that in a few years, I would make my first million, I would not have believed you. So what can we learn from this story? Well, first, choosing the right technique is essential. Some techniques are more or less saturated. Some techniques tend to have better customers. Some techniques tend to have more or less competition. So right now in 2024, blockchain is one of the best techniques that you can pick as a software developer because a lot of companies are hiring. Right now we are in the bull market and it's hard to find good blockchain developers. That's why if you become a competent blockchain developer, you will be in high demand. Another lesson of my story is that techniques are very volatile. One technique might be hot at some time, but a few years later, it might change to something else. For example, when I first picked up JavaScript and React in 2015, it was the hot new thing. But now these skills are a commodity. JavaScript is the new PHP. So when you find a technique that you want to jump into, don't wait too long because you never know how long the hype is going to last. Once you are in, you are in though. So for example, Five years later, if the blockchain hype start to cool off, but you are already a blockchain developer, it doesn't matter because now you are a senior and seniors always have job security. What's more difficult is to get in as a junior, not just in blockchain, but in any technique. So your best bet to get started as a junior is to take advantage of a hot job market when there are more opportunities, like it's the case right now, in blockchain. So now another lesson from my story. So technical skills are very important, but it's not enough, unfortunately, especially if you want a remote job, especially if you start as a junior. What you also need to do is to learn how to sell yourself. And there are different ways you can do this. And one of the most efficient way I found was to be active on social media. I know if you are a tech person, you probably don't want to become an influencer and you don't need to. So me on my channel, I have something like 165,000 subscribers. So that's a lot, but you don't need that many subscribers. You also don't need to make videos. Uh, what I recommend is much more simple. You just go on LinkedIn and you start to post about your learning journey. And as you learn new things, you just post them on LinkedIn with short articles. And if you do this regularly, you will start to get some followers and recruiters will start to notice you. And from there, it's going to be much easier to get a job. And the last lesson from my story is to start with freelance because with freelance, you can get real work experience. 
a lot of beginners complain that they don't hear back from recruiters when they apply to full-time job but everything becomes much more simple when you can show that you already have some real work experience and getting a first freelance gig is vastly easier than getting your first job when you are a junior it's a great way to get your foot in the door and after you can level up to a full-time job if you want to but you can also stay freelance i was about to make a lot of money as a freelancer so it's also a very valid career choice now i can guarantee you that if you do this you will become a solidity millionaire like i did but if you are serious if you stay in the industry for a couple of years you will become a senior solidity developer and that's when the magic happen that's when salaries start to get really high it can go to 200 300 thousand dollar per year so once you make that kind of money you just need a few years to make a million and on november 29th i'm launching a brand new blockchain academy the 30-day academy this is going to be a course platform based on challenges you will have one challenge per day for 30 days to learn blockchain and for the launch on black friday i'm going to do a special deal so to receive this deal register with the link down below all right that's it for this video bye